Okay, great. Now it now it's working. <laughs> yeah, I think it was it was some problem with the with uh, my computer. So guys, welcome. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good. I'm glad to hear. I'm that. fine. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. It's good to see everybody. Um, yeah, it's it's great to, to see everybody. Um, how was your day today? It was very, very hard, but it's the light. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Sometimes at work, it's very difficult. Sometimes it's, you know, a, a nice day, but you just got to make the best out of it, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, um, it's good to see everybody. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to start right away with the attendance because um, we don't want to lose more time. Just give me a second because since I, since I had to restart the computer, I have to get out the list again. <laughs> so just give me a moment. By the way, I, I do apologize that um, the neighbor's uh, dogs are <laughs> apparently a little bit um, a little bit excited or I don't know what it is. So sorry about that. But you guys can hear me okay? Yes. 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 All right, good, good. Okay. You guys can hear the dogs, right? <laughs> okay, give me a moment. Oh, by the way, guys, thank you for um, doing the exercises on time. Okay. Um, Excellent. It was, it was, it's great. Thank you for, for doing that. Um, yes, uh, I, I noticed that, I, I even noticed that some of you did the exercises from unit two, which is great. Good for you, for those of you that did it. That's excellent. Okay, let's see. So thank you very much for been um, doing things on time. Okay, so I got the attendance now. Okay, here we go. All right, Alejandra? Alejandra? Not here? Alejandra is not here? No? Okay. All right. Uh, what about... Um, uh, um, Cristina. Cristina? No? Cristina. Yo? Or... Yes, you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, good. Um, uh, Annie? Present. All right, welcome. Thank Mar you. Present. Okay, very good. Carol Carolina. Present, teacher. Very good. Christy. Present. Okay, very good. Um, Herson. Present. All right, excellent. Uh, Karina. Present. Okay, Linda. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Excellent. Um, Julia. Julia? No? Okay. All right, what about Marlene? Present. 
Okay, very good. Uh, Maida. Maida? No? Okay. Uh, Miguel? Miguel? Okay. All right. Um, what about Nelson? Nelson? No, no Nelson. Okay. Um, and uh, Norma? Present teacher. Very good. Excellent. Um, Olga? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Raphael or Rafa? Present teacher. All right, excellent. Sinaida? Present teacher. All right, very good. Um, Suleyma Rodriguez? Present. Okay, very good. And Stephanie? Stephanie? Okay. And Nancy? Nancy? And Juan Carlos? Juan Carlos? Okay. Karen? Present. Very good. Okay. Uh, Solima Melda? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Carla? Present teacher. All right, excellent. And Wilbur, Alexis. No? Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure that I have everybody. I didn't hear Alejandra or Julia or Mayra or Miguel or Nelson or Oh, okay. There we go, Miguel. All right, good. Um, or Nelson, or Stephanie. Stephanie Okay, very good. And Stephanie. And Juan Carlos. And Wilbur. Right? Ninguno de ellos, ¿verdad? Present teacher, Stephanie Argelia. Oh, Argelia. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Argelia. Okay, excellent class. Um, so I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys were able to connect. Um, sorry for the inconvenience at the beginning of our class, but um, we should be able to um, continue here. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to um, present the PowerPoint presentation. Just give me a moment while I open it because again, este también se me, se me cerró cuando. Okay. All right, um, I'm going to share. Please tell me if you can see it. Can everybody see it? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So we have vocabulary serving and taking food orders. It's uh, your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. It's the intermediate one and it's class number six. So, oh, hold on. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do right now is we're going to be um, learning about how to use 
uh, verb formal suggestions and requests. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to be doing here. Um, now, it, these are modal auxiliaries. Okay, and we're going to be using could and might to make formal suggestions or requests. These are formal. Okay, so um, can I have a volunteer help me out with these? Three sentences me, that you can read them for me? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Go ahead, Marlene. Okay. Um, use cool to make su suggestion. You could tell your manager about building products for the promotional event. You could generate business in a community event. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marlene. Excellent. Bravo. Excellent reading. Okay, so could is for suggestions, but these are like very formal suggestions, right? Um, you wouldn't, um, well, yeah, they're more formal. And so we, what we do is we use the word could and then um, the verb. Okay, so we have here, to give you an example, So, oh, hold on. Oh, no, that's not it here. Okay, so we have could, talk, could, generate, okay? And something that you must understand is that when we're talking about um, a, the, the, the verb, the verb has to be in the infinitive form, okay? So you have here talk, generate, okay? And the reason is because could is a modal auxiliary. And after all modal auxiliaries, we always, 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 always put the, the infinitive form of the verb, okay? That's a rule in English. That's like 100% all the time, we put the infinitive form. So after could, would, might, may, um, should, will, would, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We always put the verb in the base in the base form, okay? So the original form, okay? So that's how we make suggestions. Um, do we understand the word bundling? Do you know what that means, bundling? Agrupación, teacher. Yeah, exactly. And specifically here, we're talking about, is this a promotional? Um, event, right? So uh, bundling products. Do you guys have any idea what that is? Bundling products? Any ideas? Sorry? I d sorry, I didn't hear very, very well. Could you repeat that? Uh huh. No. Okay. Bye. All right. So basically, bundling products are it's a promotional strategy that is used when we are. Let's say that basically, it, let's say you want to uh, give a promotion. You want people to buy something. So what you do is you put. Uh, My camera, I'll... hold on. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, apparently there's a, there's a problem there with the camera. Okay, anyways, so um, what happens is that um, when you want to sell a product, you make the you make the um, let's say the the customer feel more um, inclined to 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 buying it by putting 
different products together. So maybe you, there are different ways that you can do bundling. For example, let's say that you want to sell chocolate, let's say. So maybe you can put two chocolates together, put them together, and for the price of one. So you buy one chocolate and you get the other one basically free. That's one way that you can do the bundling. So you're putting two products together so that it looks more attractive to buy. Another way you could do it is by uh, maybe uh, you put the, the, the chocolate and instead of giving another chocolate, maybe you put like a, a small candy put in together. So you don't get the same product, but you get one product and another product together. That's bundling. Does that make sense? Yes or no? No, lo acabo de confundir. No, 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 y el might, el might, sí, yo sé, Miguel, que es podría. Y el might eh, es para hacer sugerencias, pero formales, de, con más etiqueta o cortesía. Um, these are both formal. These are, the, we can, um, uh, might is a little more formal, but you can use both of them to be more uh, formal. Okay, so both of them are used to be formal. Mm -hmm. Okay, does that make sense? Yes or no? Guys, yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, good. All right, um, but I'm, I'm wondering about the word bundling. Do we understand the word bundling? Everybody understands it or no? I, I understand about the bundling. It is a, a one form or the for the promotional uh, the product. Right, exactly. So it's a form of making a promotion to the product by putting two products together, three products together you know, and make it into one price, okay? Like okay. basically two for one, right? Or three for one, okay? That's bundling, okay? All right, so anyways, um, could we use with, um, with the, the base, sorry, the base form, the verb, and that's to make a suggestion, okay? Um, now, uh, can somebody read these three sentences for me? Me, teacher. Okay, great. Go for it, Olga. My is often used with one or like to add polytene. Politeness. Politeness. Okay. Yeah. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. You might like to schedule a promotional event along a holiday like Black Friday. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Round of applause. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes. So basically, um, what happens is that um, with might, uh, again, might is a, is a model auxiliary, but it's, just, it's not just might. You use might with, you can use it with, um, so we have might with want, or like and to, oops, sorry. Okay, 
So it's not just it's not just might and then and then the verb. It's the, the it's might want to or might like to. Okay, so you can use both of them. So that's you can see it right here. Okay. I'm sorry. That is always together the verb. Um, when we want to make a suggestion, yes. Okay, so here we're using might want to. Okay, so it's always that that's a structure here, might want to. Okay, um, or might like to. Might want to, or might like to. Okay. And then after that, just like could, we use the verb in the base form. Because like I said, after the modal auxiliaries, we always, 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 always put the base form of the verb. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Sure. Yeah. Any questions? Mm. En las dos formas es base form. Yeah, yeah. It, after all model auxiliaries, could, might, may, uh, should, um, shall, will, would, anything, anything, all the model auxiliaries, we use the base form of the verb after. So we would have to say talk, generate, have, schedule. We cannot say uh, you, for example, talks. Can't say talks or um, generated or has or scheduling. You can't do that. It has to be the base form of the verb. No change. The verb with no change. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, any questions? Teacher, excuse me, I don't understand the last word for you. The, the question, the last question. What question? The last question. La que la pregunta que hace al final yo no le entiendo qué es lo que dice cuando termina de explicar. Does that make sense? Esa. Tiene sentido. Ah. Mm -hmm. Does that make eh. sense? Mm -hmm. Does it make okay. sense? Tiene sentido. Ah, yo no le entendía. Gracias. Oh, it's okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, so you can say might want to or might like to. And the two forms are correct. Okay, you decide. You can say might want to or might like to. The two forms are okay. They are exactly the same. Okay, does that make sense? Yep. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Any other questions? Okay. And I'm just going to give you some examples here so you can see. Okay. I'm giving suggestions. Okay. So to improve your German, you could attend a course or study on your own. So notice. Uh, hold on. So if we say you could attend a course or study on your own. Okay, that's a suggestion. You could take her to the restaurant or a cafe for the first meeting. You could go for a drink. You could always call 
my uh, my my mother and see if she is she might babysit. Uh, you might want to ask for his permission first. You might want to look into that. You might like to make sure of that before you make a final decision. You might like to put a deposit on that reservation so that you don't lose it. Okay. So here are our, our verbs. Okay. So notice we have here we have could, could, could. Here we have might want to, might want to, or might like to, okay, or might like to, okay? And after that, we always use the, just give me a moment, we always use the base form of the verb. So we have take, go, call, ask, look, uh, sorry, make sure, it's together, make sure, and put, okay? Is that clear? It's clear. Yeah. Questions? No, teacher. Hmm, I forgot this one here. It's a little bit more retired here, so it's close. This could attend. Now I have could, okay? So you can see it's a pattern. Could, 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 and then the verb in the base form, okay? Or might want to, or might like to, and the verb in the base form, okay? Questions, preguntas, algo que no ha quedado muy claro? Con gusto les respondo, pero me tienen que decir qué es lo que no está claro. Sí. Yes, Mayra? Yes, teacher. I, I understand that I can use cool or might um, in in, in Cualquier, any, any one sentence. Yeah, if you're giving a formal suggestion or request, yeah, you can use either one. Might is a little bit more formal, um, but um, you can use could or might. Mm -hmm. it, whatever you prefer. For example, in the in the in the sense, sorry, in the sentence number three, I can use we might go oh, 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 Sorry, could you repeat the question? I, I couldn't hear you very well. Uh, in the sentence number three, mm -hmm. I can use might we might go for a drink or, or not? Not just might, okay? It's not just might, it has to be might want to or might like to, okay? Like to go. Yeah, so uh, 
this is more like a, so it'd be like a, a it's like quizás podríamos querer ir a tal cosa, tal, right? Which doesn't kind of like sound a little too natural. So probably in that one, the best would be could. But yes, uh, you can use might want to or might like to to make a suggestion. So you could say, for example, to improve your German, you might want to attend. Or to improve your German, you might like to attend. So the two forms are clear. Are, are, sorry, the, sorry, the three forms are okay. Okay. Could or might want to or might like to. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Any questions? No. So, ¿Queda claro entonces cómo utilizar estas dos? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. In that case, what we're going to do is the following. We are going to hold on. Give me a moment. Okay. So we're going to. Do the exercises. So look at the exercises here. It says we could drive a car covered in propaganda around the city. Okay, so here is our example. Okay, could drive, right? There's our example. Okay, and remember we're using. Um, we're using uh, the, mod the modal auxiliary, oops, sorry. In this case, it's could. And drive, which is the base form of the verb, okay? So noticing that, we're going to be completing these, okay? So this is from your book. Um, you should be able to um, to complete it. Um, I'm going to be putting you in pairs to work on this, okay? All right, so I want you to complete this with your partner, okay? I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start uh, um, putting you into breakout rooms. Okay. And I think you should be able to do it in a, it, it shouldn't take you too long. So I'll give you. Um, how does six minutes out? You think you could do it in six minutes? Yes, it's okay. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, okay yes. let's, try. let's try six minutes. Okay, here we go. I'm opening the rooms. Nancy? Nancy? Hello, Nancy? So I'm saying, Nancy? Nancy?
the event. Okay. When I see. Cool. The same team would like. Try the sales team could try to bundle bundle. This bundle bundle up the food with collective collect collect multiple collective collective mugs mugs son como tazones de tazas mugs okay La tres entonces sería cool. cool. La cuatro, el manager Mike. 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 Mm -hmm. To launch a new line of kids. Mill. The team sells. Try. The manager might too. Mm -hmm. Manager might like to. Might like to want to launch to launch. La, yo copiando la cuatro. Ah. <laughs> Vamos por la cinco, ¿verdad? The event could be. Could be, ajá. Uh -huh. The event is scheduled for Christmas to increase sales. Mm -hmm. The event, event could be, could be the schedule, el evento. Dry. A car, government, and propaganda around Hello, teacher. Hi, girls. ¿Qué pasó? <laughs> we <laughs> are. Estamos we, hablando. We are we confused because the May in May. What is, what, what is the what difference? Is, about the May, my, cool. And they are used for different things. They're used for okay. Uh, Esta mala la señal de la teacher. Yo creo. Okay, so, but entonces nos quedamos en la tercera, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahí está de nuevo. Hola, chicas, perdón. Está bien. Ok. Qué raro, bueno. Lo que sucede, o sea, uh, los se utilizan para diferentes cosas. Ok. So you use it for. Por ejemplo. Um, so, like, could and might want to, might like to. It's used for suggestions. Could can also be used uh, for ability in the past. I could do this, I could do that. O sea, tiene diferentes, um, diferentes usos dependiendo del, del contexto. Ese es el cool y el may. ¿Y el may? Um, también, o sea, todos los models tienen diferente... Um, significado dependiendo del contexto. Entonces, mm. Eso es lo que me confunde el may y mate. Might. May might y mate. Hasta pronunciarlo me confunde. Yeah. May por lo general um, bueno, podría mostrar como una posibilidad. Ajá. Es lo que decía que depende de cómo es menos posible de. Uh -huh. Sí. Mm. Bueno, okay. tal vez lo vemos después en ese modo. Que el módulo pasado lo vimos, pero igual casi no lo entendí. Es, es que nuevamente les, les, les digo, no, 
no deberían de, fija, de, de, de fijarse o, sea, o enfocarse solamente de que tiene un significado porque tienen varios diferentes significados dependiendo del contexto. Es como el, el verbo de get, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo get? Yo estaba, yo, estaba, yo estaba, porque es una palabra que a veces yo tengo un concepto en mi mente y es como veo una oración y es como, no, no tiene sentido. Pero buscar en internet significa un montón de cosas. Exacto. Entonces, por eso yo no les sugiero que, que se queden así con solamente una cosa, de que hay uh -huh. una tal cosa. No, porque si no, no lo van a entender. No lo van a entender. Entonces, mejor eh, es de que ustedes um, vean el contexto en que estamos aprendiendo ahorita. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Y entonces, y eso le va, le va a ayudar. ¿Verdad? Porque... Um, es cuestión, es cuestión de, de irse um, como, o sea, con el tiempo van a ir a, agarrando, eh, el, va a ser más fácil para poder identificarlo, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita no se estén concentrando en todas las diferentes formas, solo concéntrense en este en particular. Ok. No se les va a ok, gracias. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, you're finished? No. No? Yet. Okay. All right, I'll give you a little bit of more time then. Okay. Right, entonces, vamos en la tercera. Hello? Maybe in scope. For brains to the store might like to use a loyalty offering for people who have business with Are you finished or finished more time? Finished, finished. Sure. yeah. You're, you're finished? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, perfect. All right, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. The event. Finished, teacher. Mejor. Oh, no. wonderful. Okay, perfect. Es, es mm -hmm. preguntarles. Okay, mm -hmm. great. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm hoping that everybody finished. Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so let's check the answers. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to be choosing different people. Um, okay, so, all right, so let's have, um, a, let's see, Herson, please help me out with this, Herson. And you can read, you can read the whole sentence, please. Number two, teacher. Yeah, number two. Okay, the boss might want to start the event with 
as speech. Thank you. Very good. Okay, very good. All right, thank you. Um, Nancy, can you please help me with the next one, Nancy? Hello, teacher. Uh, the sales, the sales team. Sales. Sales team. Sales team. Sales. Mike. Might? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, next. Um, um, let me see. Suleima Milgar. Um, a mí me quedó cool. But Number three. Two sentence. Okay. The Sales 18 cool. Oh, no. Number four. Number four, sweetie. Number four. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Uh, the manager means like to launch a new line of line. kit. Light of kit means. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Um... Okay, um, let's have uh, Maida. The event could be special for Christmas to increase sales. Good, okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, and the last one we'll have um, Karina. Please help us with the last one, Karina. Um, the store might want to use a loyalty offering for people who do business with us frequently. Did you say might? Yes. Okay. Thank you. The store might want to use loyalty. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, so I'm not saying that these answers are correct. Right now we're going to correct them, okay? So we're gonna say if it's right or what, what's going on, okay? So let's start with this one. The boss might want to start the event with a speech. Do you agree with this? Yes. Yes? It's correct. It's it is correct, yes, very good. And the reason is because if you notice it says, want to with could we do not use want to we never say could want to okay so the only possibility is might okay okay all right next the sales team might try to bundle up is that correct no no no, 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 no score. Why? Why not? It's cold. Why? It's cold. Why? Have the team base for. Mm -hmm. Remember what I said. With might, we use want to or like, like to. to. But after after this word, we don't have want to, might to, or like to. We have try to. So this cannot be correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the answer, and the answer would be. What is the answer? Good. Good. Very good. Good. Okay. And there's the answer. Okay. So far, so good. It's okay. 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 Very good. All right. Let's continue. Um, the manager might like to launch a new line of kids' meals. Is this correct? Yes. Oh, teacher. Yeah. Yes, that is correct because you have like to, which is correct. 
Okay, might like to. Next we have the event could be scheduled for Christmas to increase sales. Is this correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes it is. Very good. Why? Because we don't have like to or want to. We just have the verb in the base form. Okay. And finally, the store might want to use a loyalty offering for people who do business with us frequently. Is this correct? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. Very wow. good. Because here we have want to. Aquí está, want to. So it has to be might. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Any yes, questions? Teacher. Any questions? No. Okay, all right, very good. Let's clear all of this. And we're gonna go on to the next part. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so now we're gonna be looking at introducing a new product. Now, these are examples of the steps in an action plan to introduce a new product to the menu, okay? So these are just examples. For example, we can say, we can answer the question, what action or change will happen? Then the next step would be asking, who will carry it out? Who will, who will, do, the, um, who will do the action plan? Okay. When will it take place? Do you understand take place? Uh, no. It's like in Spanish, take place. What is take in Spanish? Take, tomar. Tomar. In place? Lugar. 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 So when will it take place? When Cuando tomaría el lugar. Good. And for how long? What is what is the, the um, distance? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so for how long? Cuánto tiempo? What resources? You understand resources? <laughs> Recursos. Yeah, exactly. What resources are needed to carry out the change? Carry out. Um, right? And the communication. Who should know what? So what, what information does each person need to know? These are some examples. And the, these are, if you notice, questions. Now, the answer to these questions are here. Okay? So what I want you to do is I'm going to return you to your, your, with your partner, and you're going to be matching. Matching these questions with these answers. Okay? Okay. Okay? But before we go and do that, I am going to be taking the attendance so that when you go to the room, like we don't have to worry about that. Okay. So Alejandra. And me. Present teacher. Daddy. Okay. Very good. Sorry. It's okay. No problem. Um, okay. Ya somos más en la clase. <laughs> okay. Um, Ani? Oh, no, no, perdón, perdón, perdón. No, oh, bueno, sí, también Ani, pero, pero Cristina va antes. <laughs> okay, so Cristina, ahí está. Okay, very good, excellent. Um, all right, um, Ani? 
present teacher. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, Mari. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Christy. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Herson. Present. Okay, excellent. And um, Karina, sorry, no, no. Uh, yes, Karina. Present. Very good. Okay. Linda. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Julia, Julia. Present teacher. All right, very good. And uh, Marlene. Present. Okay, good. Thank you, Marlene. And Maida. Maida? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Miguel. Present. Miguel? Present. Okay, very good. Present. Thank you. Nelson. Nelson. Okay. Norma. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, Olga. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Rafa. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Sinaida. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good, excellent. Uh, Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. And Stephanie Argelia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Nancy. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Okay. Karen. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Carla. Present. Very good. And Wilbur Alexis. Okay, very good. Okay, so class, um, so we understand what we're going to be doing when I send you to the groups? Yes, teacher, but uh, could you tell the exercise in the screen, please? Sure. It's in the book. It's in the book, ah, okay. but, but I can share it. No problem. Okay, okay. Let me, let me see. You can take a screenshot. Yeah, thank you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. So I'm going to get you to um, go back to your partner. The, the same partner, we're gonna have the same partner, okay? Um, let's do it again. Um, and I'm going to give you... ¿Creen que lo hacen seis minutos nuevamente? Yo digo que sí. Yes. Yes. Same time. Okay, here we go. Aquí sí. Me agarraron en curva, ya me. Sí, bueno, es que de lo 
del, es como un plan de acción de un, de una, de un nuevo menú, según logro comprender. Ah, sí. Entonces abajo están las acciones y arriba están como las preguntas. Vale. Entonces empecemos con la A. What, ah, what action or change will happen? ¿Qué acción o cambio? Ajá. Pasaría, creo. Entonces, pues la uh, dice the dream will be. Creo que es esa. En, para el día de San Valentín habrá uh -huh. como una nueva bebida, algo así le comprendo. Uh -huh. En febrero. Ah, no, pero es que abajo, la última también dice, a uh, new dream is going to be produced. Ajá, pongamos ahí la para mientras. <risa> Yo le siento que es más, más, más accesible. Okay. De ahí me dice, who will carry it out? ¿Qué será carry it out? Out, out es como... Cada que la utiliza. Carry, ¿verdad? Carry, carry. ¿Quién llevará? ¿Quién llevará? Ay, hay alguien más con nosotros. Ah, la teacher está. Hello, teacher. Hello. Este, bueno, entonces. ¿Quién lo va a hacer, verdad? Ajá, ¿quién, quién, ¿Quién haría? Yo creo que es la segunda. The chef Ajá. the receipt for the trip. ¿Cuánto Podría más? ser. Podría Ajá. ser el, el veamos, eh, como respuesta Ajá. del manager, request. Ah, porque eh, que arriba eh, están de, de, de question, A, B, C, D, E. Sí, D, E, exacto. Ajá, and the C, el R, C, this say one would be, the, what we take place in, for how long? Ajá. Ajá. The first, the drink will be available. During volunteer days in a promotion that continues through February. Tienen razón. The white. Teacher. Teacher finish. Oh, great. Excellent. Okay. We'll see each other in a moment. Okay. Como maybe it's the letter B. When will it? No, who will carry out? Con quién, quién lo llevará a cabo, dice, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y dice, the chef created okay. receipt for the drink, the manager approved. Uh -huh. No sé. De hecho, podría ser la verdad. <ríe> oh, ya se fue. No, no la puedo ver. Ok. Entonces, llamamos number one, la recién. The manager. Request only for this project. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ya lo Ajá, entonces, D, o sea, aquí sería. Por pero, mí, por mí, D. B, B, ajá. D, net, uh, I. Y. Y. Por mí. Literal second of this. E. E. Okay. Number four is um, D. What resorts are needed to carry out the change? Um, 
because the dream is made. Are we ready? We're finished? No, teacher. No? No. Okay, you have one more minute. Okay. Okay, teacher. You're welcome. Usted que C B E D A. Ah, sí, vea. Mhm. Mhm. Yes. Así se dice. Yeah, el primero. Only. A, a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Mm -hmm. The chef creates the receipt to the, for the drink. The manager provides it of it oh, and the advertising uh, staff will be responsible to market the product. Mm -hmm. and the drink will be... Pero usted viene de... Okay. Va, entonces nos quedan C, B, uh -huh. D, A. Ajá. Sí. Correct. Okay. Hi, are we ready? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, are we ready? Hi, teacher. I think. Yes? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay, all right, class. Um, so I think, did you all finish? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. We're gonna be checking right now. Okay. okay. So we're gonna number the following steps of the action plan, okay? Um, so we're going to have a, uh, you're going to help me. Um, it is here. Who's uh, Sanaida? Okay, go for it, Sanaida. The drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. What is that question? B. B. Royalty offering. D. Oh, D. Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Let's change the color. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Um, next, the chef created the recipe for the drink. The manager approved of it, and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. 
Um, e. Let's see, let's have Carla. Carla, help me, please. B. B? Yes. Thank you very much, Carla. Okay. Um, all right. Advertising board and staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. Uh, Christina, please help me. Christina, Christy? Hello. Christy, Christy, may you that? Yes, the three. Three. E is E. 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 We have the manager request, requested extra funding for this project. The drink is made with herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. So we'll have um, Rafa, please help us. The letter C. Letter C? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. And the last one, we have um, a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. And um, I need help from, let's see, from Julia. Julia? Is Julia there? Okay. All right. Letter A. Letter A. Okay, thank you, Marlene. Okay, oops. All right. Okay, let's check to see if you agree. Check if it's correct. Okay, so um, so the drink will be a, okay. So according to this, the question is, what resources are needed to carry out the change? Uh, the drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through February. Yeah, is that correct? No, no. I see. no. This is C. C. Yeah, this one, um, if it was, if notice that it says what resources. So uh, we want this resources are recursos, right? So what resources are needed? And here we're not talking about resources, we're talking about a time. Okay, so there would be definitely letter C. Okay, so we're going to change that. Okay, um, all right, so that would be a letter C. Okay. Now, next, according to this, the question is, who will carry it out? So we have the chef created the recipe for the drink, the manager approved of it, and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. That is definitely correct. Oh. Very good. Good. Advertise, I'm sorry, according to this, it's communication, who should know what? Advertising board and staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the, of the drink. Correct? Correct. Yes. 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 And yes. it's a big word, Correct. communication. 
We have communication here and communication here, so it's fine. Next, the manager requests, sorry, no, no, sorry, the question is, when, when will it take place and how for how long? The manager requested extra funding for this project. The drink is made with herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. Is that correct? No. 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 There is. So we know it can't be no. when it's letters. So the answer is letter? D. 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 What resources are needed to carry the change? That is correct. The reason is because here we're talking about resources. The extra funding is a resource, right? What is funding? What does funding? Fondos. Aha, uh -huh. los fondos, right? So that's a resource, es un recurso, right? Also, herbs, right? That's also another resource, okay? Very good. And finally, what action or change will happen? a new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Is this correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is. Very good. All right. Bravo. Any questions? No, teacher. No, you sure? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. All righty then. Okay. So now that we have done that, um, let's talk about vocabulary. So we have here new vocabulary. It says here, match these words to describe promotional strategies to their meanings, okay? So here we have promotional strategies. We have publicity stunts, bundling, public relations, loyalty offerings, and sampling. And here we have the, the definitions, personalized incentives, the promotion of a product by distributing samples of it, offering several products for sale as one combined product, the professional maintenance of a favorable public image, a planned event designed to attract the public's attention. Okay. Okay. All right. So we can do this individually right now.
Okay, how are you doing? Are we finished? Yes. Not yet, teacher. No, not yet. You need more time? No, yet. Yes, please. Okay. I'll give you a little bit more time. Okay, I hope that you guys are finished. You guys are ready? Yes? Yeah, okay. Yes. All right, so yes. let's, let's check the answers. Um, Olga, please, please help me with the first one. Uh, publicity, sorry, no, person, personalized incentives. Um, I think is loyalty offering. Okay, so letter D. Letter D. Okay, all right, thank you very much. All right, um, let's say Karen. Please help me with the next one, the promotion of a product by distributing samples of it. Is E. E, okay, thank you. All right, um, let's see, Miguel, please help us with the next one. Offering several products for sale as one combined product. For me, hi. For me, hi. Hey. Sorry, I couldn't hear you very well. Could you repeat? For me, hey. A, publicity yeah. stunts? Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, um, next uh, we'll have um, uh, Carolina. Carolina, can you help us with the next one? It says yes. the professional maintenance of a favorable public image. E. You think it's E? Okay. 
All right. And thank you very much. And the next one. Perdón, perdón, sí, perdón, sí es. Oh, sí, okay. Sí, sí, no, y ya está. Okay, so you think it's sí. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And we have, um, a ver, ¿quién más nos puede ayudar? Sinaida, please help us with the last one, a planned event designed to attract the public's attention. Letter B. Letter B. Okay. So you think it's bundling. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Um, all right, let's check the answers. So personalized incentives is loyalty offers. Yes. No. Correct. Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, what they're seeing here is um, when somebody is loyal to a product or a company, they give them special um, treatment. Let's say they give them um, they give them like a special promotions, um, but they are specifically for that customer it's not promotions for everybody it's a specific customer because of the loyalty because they have used that product or that or those customers for such a long time sorry those um uh, they, they've been a customer for such a long time okay do we understand loyalty offerings yes yes yeah yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, the the letter E, the promotion of a product by distributing samples of it is sampling. Bueno, aquí está, right? Samples, sampling, man. So it's the same. Very good. Excellent. Now, uh, offering several products for sale as one combined product Publicity stunts? Mm, no. Yes. No. It wouldn't be Maybe it's the correct. It's the letter B. Letter B bundling. Yes. Very good. Se acuerdan que les les mencionaba uh, les explicaba bundling eh, cuando estábamos viendo las oraciones, por ejemplo. So remember, it's like putting two products for one price or three products for one price. So that's why it's um, combining the products, combining, putting them together, okay? Um, so the answer, yes, would be letter B, okay? All right, next. The professional maintenance of a favorable public image, public relations. Is that correct? The professional maintenance of a favorable yes. image. Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Very good. Yes, exactly. So this is, um, you know, public relations is making the, the person or um, a product uh, better said, a person or a company, better said, yeah. Person or a, or a company look very good for the public, okay? And finally, we have a planned event designed to attract the public's attention. Bundling? A. Mm, can't be bundling because bundling is here. So what would be the answer? A. Letter A, very good. So, oops, sorry, publicity stunt. Okay, a planned event designed to attract the public's attention. Publicity stunt. Okay, so this is a specific um, event, um, activity that people do to be able to grab 
the public's the the customer's attention or potential customers okay any questions no it's clear yeah yes teacher okay very good okay in that case let's um Okay, let's um, clear the answers here. And what we're gonna do, we have a few more minutes left of the class. We're gonna be working in, in um, pairs again, but we're gonna be working with a different partner. Now, it says here, work in pairs in your assigned breakout room. So I'm gonna assign you a breakout room. Use the steps in the previous slide as an example to write a basic plan to introduce a new product to a fast food restaurant. Define the strategies that will, you will use in your action plan. Present your action plan to the class, okay? So you're gonna be creating um, an action plan for a new product. Gonna introducir este nuevo producto. So you can do, first of all, you're going to be using these words sorry, these questions to create the plan, okay? So follow these questions. See, and it's a pregunta. Answer these questions. Next, after you finish all that, you're gonna decide which strategy you're gonna be using. You can use publicity stunts, bundling, public relations, loyalty offers, or samples, okay? Do we understand? Okay. Is this clear? Teacher. Las estrategias que vamos a proponer tienen que ser diferentes a las que están acá, ¿verdad? No, no, o sea, pueden escoger una de estas. Ah, ok. Estas son las estrategias y este es el plan. Ese es el plan. Entonces pueden responder estas preguntas. ¿Ok? ¿Vamos entendiendo qué hacer? Yes. No, teacher. Ok. You are introducing a new product. You understand introduce a new product, right? Yes, teacher. Yeah. What is introduce a new product? In Spanish? Introducir un ingresar un nuevo producto. Introducir un nuevo producto. Ah, o presentar. Sería presentar un nuevo producto. Ok. Vamos a presentarlo. Ok. Um, ahora. Ok. So. Para presentarlo vamos a, vamos a utilizar este plan de acción. Vamos a responder estas preguntas. What action or change will happen? Who will carry it out? When will it take place and for how long? What resources are needed to carry out the change? And the communication, who should know what? Okay? Okay. 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 Now, no after you room. finish that, no after you finish that, you're going to be deciding what strategies you're going to be using. It could be more than one, but minimum one of these strategies. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. It's clear now? Yes. Okay, perfect. It's clear. Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Va. vamos entonces a crear los grupos. Vamos a recrear. ¿Mm? No, we need to change. Tomo porque de hecho hay, hay, hay más personas. Ok. All right. Um, let's open the rooms. Here we go.
Suleima. 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 Está usted ahí? Suleima. Suleima Rodríguez. Uh. Eh, chicas, ¿qué pasó? Uh. Mm -hmm. We're thinking, we're thinking to because we don't know what product can we offer. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, but but that's not so important. Um, you know, it could be any product. Any, um, okay. So so de cojan uno. El lo importante es en sí el 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 los como como la estrategia que vamos a usar para introducir okay, okay. Uh -huh. los chiros why not what a general change with Ice cream, ice cream, strawberry, strawberry ice cream, okay. mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, cheesecake, cheesecake, right. yeah, yeah, and this is a selection of the literal, yeah, 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 the la pregunta what what action or change will happen uh -huh. de ahí sería cómo se llama ay me he olvidado okay. who will carry out what will take place and for how long Como al tener uno elegido, tendríamos que ver el presupuesto que se va a ocupar para llevarse a cabo el, 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 el nuevo producto. Pero primero no vamos a responder las preguntas. Ajá. ¿Qué la, ¿Qué la primera. Ajá. Vaya, la primera ya la tenemos. Es la, 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 el postre. Uh -huh. Dessert. Who will carry out? Uh -huh. The chef. The chef. Create. Receive the. Create the receipt for the dessert. Uh -huh. And the manager of provider. Approved of it, uh -huh. and the advertising staff will be responsible in marketing the product. Right. When will it take place, and for how long? Mm. Mm. 
Cuando para, digamos, para el Día de las Madres. Ah, uh, sí. Ajá, podría ser. Porque como ahí dice que el Día de para San Valentín sería un nuevo postre que vamos a introducir para el Día de las Madres. Uh -huh. Entonces, Entonces sería... sería the dessert will be available during Mother's Day in a promotion. The continuous throw, throw in May. May. The next is what resources are needed to carry out the change. ¿Qué recursos? Eh, eh, the manager recruits is igual ganaría eh, ¿Ah? lemonade o no cómo se llama ice cream o cheese cheese o el cheesecake el cheesecake va uh -huh. entonces tendríamos que poner aquí eh, the manager Putting the this, this project, the dress, the, the dessert, dessert, dessert. Um, is made with cheese, cheese, uh, baking powder. Uh, uh -huh. ¿Cómo se llama eso? Arena. ¿Cómo es? La arena. ¿Ah? Flower. Hour. Hour. Flower. Flower. Mm -hmm. Flower. Mm -hmm. Flower. Mm -hmm. Flower. Mm -hmm. I know. Sounds really good. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, flower, like, 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 como de flor, pero, but, but it's, it's uh, differently. Um, you uh, spell it like this. Um, let me, let me spell it. Spell it like this. Oh, flower. Mm -hmm. Flower. Uh, sugar. Cheese, porque creo que lleva queso. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And um, the other some what? Writing. But. Celio. Eh, Sería. Uh, the the ceiling sales manager. The ceiling sales mm. manager. Uh -huh. uh, um, ah, okay. Uh, the staff responsible to market. Vaya, se lo llevará a cabo el gerente ¿verdad? de ventas. This uh, and, seller, and the seller uh, and the staff this. responsible to market the product. O sea, el equipo, el equipo de mercadeo. Ah, okay. Y equipo de mercadeo. Entonces sería uh -huh. en vez de vendedor. Eh, uh, lo que pasa es que realmente todos lo hacen al final. Porque, sí, o sea, sí, todo, ajá, todos están involucrados, pero los ajá. encargados de hacer eso. Sí, son eh, todos, son incluyendo el vendedor, porque si el vendedor no lo hace, aunque el, el gerente lo apruebe. Exacto. Y es verdad, y el mercadeo lo trabaje a través de promociones no, o publicidad, no, no se podría hacer mucho. Ok, entonces sería entonces se manager. Entonces se Ajá. podría ser the sales manager and marketing team will be in share of carry carrying its it out. Uh, sí, o, o lo mismo que está escrito, que dice que es el responsable, el staff uh -huh. responsable de, del mercadeo, tu market. Okay. The product. 
the protein would be um okay um, see when will ah okay yes cuando se hará y por cuánto tiempo mm -hmm. aquí okay. es donde entra donde uh -huh. el lugar de ahí todo uh -huh. Uh -huh. the shampoo the shampoo uh, steps above as an example to wear a basket plan to introduce a new product to a fast food restaurant and find the strategies you will use in your action plan. Me perdí, lo siento. En la literal 4 de la 14. Ah. Es que ahí dice lo que, te, lo que debíamos de hacer, ¿verdad? Ella lo hicimos, ¿verdad? Para introducir un nuevo producto de comida rápida, bueno, un restaurante de comida rápida y definir las estrategias que vamos a usar en nuestro plan de acción. Eso. Que quedamos en el Publicity stunts y en el sampling, ¿verdad? Esa dos. Yes. Publicity stunts. Uh, chicas, any questions? Yes. Are you finished? Yes. Careful. I think I finish. <laughs> we finish. You, you are finished? You're ready with everything? Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, we will see each other in the main room in a moment. Okay. okay.
Okay, very good, everybody. Um, but, eh, ¿lograron terminar? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. No, yes, teacher. Yes? No, teacher, nos faltó una a nosotros. Ok, ok. Bye. Eh, si no lograron terminar, no se preocupen en demasía, porque les voy a dar chance. Les voy a dar chancecito despuesito para que eh, el día de mañana, para que terminen, les voy a dar unos o sea, cinco, cinco minutos o algo así, para que terminen ahí, porque lo van a presentar a la clase. Ok. So you're going to be presenting tomorrow your plan to the class. Right. Okay. okay. Tome nota ahí de, de, de mm -hmm. los diferentes grupos para que todos podamos pasar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me um, take attendance. Ahorita podemos a tomar asistencia. Eh, Alejandra. Present teacher. Uh, thank you. Eh, Cristina. 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 Ana Cristina. No está. Ok. Bye. Eh, Ani. Present. Ok. Very good. Eh, Marisol. Present. Um, Present. Ok. Very good. Person. Present. Okay, excellent. Karina? Present. Good, excellent. Linda? Present, teacher. Excellent. Julia? Present, teacher. Very good, thank you. Uh, Marlene? Present. Okay. Teacher? Uh -huh. Teacher? Teacher, no. Okay. Perdón. Oh, ok. No, no le mencioné. O, o no, o es que. Ah, no, no, no contestó, ¿verdad? No, no, y no contesté. Por aquí estoy. Ok, perfecto, gracias. Ok. Uh, Mayra. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you. Uh, Miguel. Present. Present teacher. You? Nelson. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, eh, Norma. Present teacher. Excellent. Olga. Olga. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Rafa. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Senaida. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good. Thank you. Stephanie. Argelia. Present teacher. Excellent. Nancy. Present teacher. Okay. Very good. Uh, Juan Carlos. Karen. Karen. Present teacher. Okay, good. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Excellent. Carla. Present. Okay, very good. And Wilber Alexis. Okay. Muy bien. Entonces, uh, chicos, eh, eso sería todo. Hoy solo me quedo con, um, quiero ver, con Cristina. Con Cristi me quedo. Ok. Y de ahí pues um, eso sería todo. Gracias chicos. Se cuidan y nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. Sí. Bye bye. Good night everyone. Good night. Teacher, le saluda Karen. Hola, Karen. Hola, teacher. A un favor, fíjese que yo intenté hacer el, la tarea 1.9.
que a, 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 pide que describa las estrategias promocionales. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero fíjese que según lo que solucionamos hoy y lo que aparece acá, uh -huh. eh, hay uh -huh. dos que ya salen, sé. ¿verdad? Que están equivocadas. Sí. Entonces yo, yo tuve que obligar al sistema que las cambié y vi que así quedaba el porcentaje correcto. Sí. Entonces no sé qué hacer. Um, bye. Mire, voy a reportar eso porque se me había escapado ese detallito, pero sí, sí sé, soy, soy al tanto de eso. Lo voy a reportar y... y lo puedo dejar entonces y con las incorrectas, aunque yo sé que está no, correcto. Sí, como está el momento y después... Ah, oh, ok. Vamos entonces. Va, ok, gracias, Chichel. Buenas noches. Ok, ya sabe. Ok, cuídese. Ok, Cristi. Hola. ¿Me escucha, Cristi? Sí, sí, sí. Ok, ok, perfecto. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Aquí queriendo entender. Ok, ok. Oh. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que necesitamos entender? Cuénteme. Vaya, a, ahora con este cool y mil, sí lo entendí. Ok. Sí comprendí un cabal como era, sí. Muy bien. Exacto, muy bien. Solo que hay unas palabras que no sé cómo se pronuncian. Y eso me estaba, estábamos con su lema, si no recuerdo que me tocó el pre, que no sabíamos cómo pronunciarlos o cómo se decían. Por ejemplo, en la tercera es de, de Solen Steam Cool Try to Building. ¿Es Building o Bold? Building. 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 O sea, no sé, no estoy segura si, si estamos hablando como se. Si, si quiere, me lo, me lo escribe en el chat y yo le. Ah, va, ahorita. Le voy a poner las palabras. Las voy a escribir todas. Okay. Eh, es do, um, esta Estamos hablando de pronunciación, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Vaya, esas son las que no más o menos no, no hallaba cómo se pronunciaban. Ok, ok. Entonces, el primero es bundle. 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 Uh -huh. Bundle. Bundle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. bundle. Bundle. El otro es collectible. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. La otra es. Um, scheduled. Schedule. No, 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 no. No, eh, no es schedule, no. Porque no hay una E al principio, entonces sería. Scheduled. Scheduled. Mm -hmm. ¿Se acuerdan que yo le decía como la, 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 la serpiente? Ah, la serpiente, ¿verdad? La serpiente le hacen. No hacen. Es. es. Entonces, tiene, acuérdense, es como una serpiente. Usted es una serpiente. Entonces dice. Schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Scheduled. La otra sería loyalty. Loyalty, correct. Loyalty. Fine. Ajá, esa, esa era mi, mi duda con esas palabras que no, no más o menos no entendía cómo se, se pronunciaban. Ok, excelente. Okay. De ahí con lo, lo, lo de, de cool and uh, uh, milk. Might. 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 Sí, sí comprendí cuándo se utiliza y cuándo no. Ok, excelente, excelente. Okay. ¿Alguna y... otra preguntita? 
Quiero ver. Y ahí. Ah, con lo de la tarea era con lo que nos acaba de dejar. Era que íbamos a hacer eh, según las preguntas A, B, C, D, E, lo de nuestro producto o según lo de la siguiente página donde teníamos que poner en paréntesis. Donde está eh, Publicity Zoom. Ajá. Ajá. Teníamos que hacerlo según ese o según el otro. O, o según sea, el otro. Ok, van a responder las preguntas, ¿verdad? De, para poder um, tener un, un, um, un plan de, de, um, de introducción. Ajá. Y según de, el, después con, con el segundo. Y después entonces van a hablar acerca de qué estrategia de todas esas que se mencionan van a utilizar. Ah, va. Digamos que nosotros ocup ocupamos sampling. Uh -huh. Creo, es verdad. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí. ¿Puedo ah, pues sí. Ah, pues sí, Ticho. Ah, pues ya sí le entendí. Ok. ¿Ya, ¿Ya terminaron o todavía no? Eh, sí, terminamos de contestar las preguntas y ocupamos la letra E. Sample. Okay. Esa es ella. Uh -huh. Ah, sampling, ok. Y, no. y que esa, esa, ¿cómo se llama? Como un producto, ¿es de comida? Sí, hicimos como un dress, dress, es postre. Oh, dessert. Dessert, ajá, dessert, dessert, hicimos como, ajá, el postre entre en cheesecake o un ice cream strawberry. Ice cream strawberry. Mm, suena rico. Strawberry. Ok. Ajá, entonces entre esos dos muestras, así nosotros nos imaginamos eh, hacer esos dos postres y pasarle a la gente para que ellos de, elijan cuál les gusta más y cuál les gustaría como en, en un nuevo producto de, de, de postre. Mm, ok. Suena bien. Suena uh -huh. súper, súper, súper. Ok, excelente. Entonces, pero todavía no han terminado, ¿verdad? Eh, contestamos todas las preguntas según así como estaba el, en el ejemplo. Ah, ok, ok. Perfecto. Bueno, entonces igual yo les voy a dar como unos cinco minutitos al día de mañana para que estén listos, eh, listas y ya puedan presentar. Y así nos organizamos cómo, cómo pasarlo a, a explicar. Sí, correcto, correcto. Eh, ¿Alguna otra cosa? No, Tiche, yo creo que ya solo eso sería. Ok. Y solo una preguntita antes de, de cualquier cosa. Um, ¿Cómo se ha sentido en la clase? Pues fíjese que bien me he sentido mejor que en otras veces porque siento que, que como usted hace más amena la clase y se siente como que... Yo, yo le entiendo más y, y lo importante es que no, no, no nos aburramos y no nos, no nos, no nos de sueño porque han habido otras veces. Teacher, que yo así le digo, si me tocaba el teacher que me había tocado dos veces anteriores, yo me iba a salir. Oh, bueno, sí. pero me, me alegra, o sea, me, me, lo que me importa bastante es de que um, usted se sienta cómoda para poder aprender ¿Verdad? Y, y, y preguntar, ¿verdad? Eso es bien importante. A veces um, no aprendemos no porque no podamos, sino que porque eh, nos quedamos con las dudas. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, lo que eso es muy importante para mí que ustedes puedan preguntar. Entonces, quiero saber si usted se ha sentido, que, que puede hacer preguntas sin, sin ningún problema. Sí, a mí me gusta cuando, cuando más que todo, cuando hace actividades y, y que entre todos participemos, porque así eh, los que no, los que van empezando o los que les, les da pena, ahí se van desenvolviendo un poco más. Yo, sí. yo trato de participar ¿no? y quizás cuando no entiendo pregunto, pero a veces me espero un ratito y si alguien pregunta, 
dejo y entonces ahí me aclara la duda que yo tengo, de, pero después, si acaso no preguntan, ahí sí pregunto yo porque a veces me queda la duda. Está bien, está bien. Bueno, bueno si, si, um, si puede usted ser la líder en hacer la pregunta, excelente, ¿verdad? Pero si no, pues por lo menos eh, sí, lo importante es que no se quede con esa duda, ¿verdad? Porque eh, si nos quedamos con esa duda, o sea, eh, siempre vamos a tener esa duda y no, no vamos a salir de ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, no tenga... No tenga... Me ha teacher, porque de verdad me, me, me ha costado a veces, a mí se me olvidan las cosas, entonces... Soy bien poca para retener, pero ahí voy intentando haciendo que me queden las cosas. ¿Qué cosas hace usted para practicar? Um, repito. Uh -huh. O leo. Lo anoto. Ok. ¿Y, ¿Pero algo fuera de la clase? Ah, solo escucho canciones en inglés. Ok. ¿Y las escucha y las trata de entender y, y, y descifrar qué dicen o solo la escucha por escuchar? No, escucho y pongo atención a ver qué palabras dicen. Hay unas que ya las entiendo, hay que todavía no. Excelente, excelente. Y, y trato de, de, de buscar la letra para leerlo, porque siento que entiendo más leyendo que escuchando. Mm, ok, sí. Pero por eso escucho la música para poder entenderla. Ok, ok. Sí, excelente. Ok, muy bien. Sigue entonces así, ¿verdad? Y, y trate... Le, le voy a poner una meta que trate de um, utilizar menos español y más ese vocabulario que va aprendiendo, ¿verdad? O uh -huh. sea, tratemos de eliminar cuanto español se pueda. Va y va y va ver cómo va a ir. No, con mi puesto de vista me dicen, piensa en inglés, pero ¿y qué? ¿Cómo pienso en inglés si antes piensa o sea, en español? Digo yo. Vaya, vaya, por ejemplo, usted va... <risa> caminando en la calle y normalmente uno va caminando en la calle y va viendo lo que hay a su alrededor y dice, ah, eh, no sé, puede ser por ejemplo, ah, eh, hey, qué bonito ese carro que va pas pasando por ahí. Um, o por ejemplo, ay, ese perro se mira bien bravo. <risa> Cosas así, ¿verdad? Entonces, pensar, en vez de pensar eso en español, piénsalo en inglés. Como, it's a beautiful car. Exacto. Ah, eso. Okay. Usted, usted va, o sea, va a ir entrenando su mente a pensar en inglés y no estar pensando en español. Ajá. ¿Ya? Porque automáticamente usted, su, su cerebro va a ir pensando, ah, sí, sí, tengo que pensar así, así, así. Ajá. Ah, pues sí. Gracias, Tite. You're welcome. Bueno, entonces a uh, Cristi la dejo para que pueda descansar y nos vemos mañana. Ok. Ok. Good Take night. Care. Good night.